Hey, how's it going guys? Today we're checking out the latest version of the RCA Voyager Pro available at Walmart. So what can you expect from the cheapest or one of the cheapest two-in-ones? Well, not too much, but it seems like we have Android 6.0 with a 7-inch 1024 x 600 resolution. I'm not sure if it's IPS, but we'll find out pretty soon. A quad-core processor, 16 gigs of internal storage, a front camera, and up to six hours of battery life, but obviously that seems a bit exaggerated. That's how it usually goes. The model number is up here, and then you get the rest of the stuff in here. In the box, you get the tablet itself with the keyboard, quick start guide, and then a DC 5 volt to wall outlet charger. Can't forget the silica gel. So the tablet actually feels pretty thick. It almost feels like a toy because it's so small and everything. But you can open it up here and you can see the small keyboard layout here. And then you can also take this out by just pressing from the back. And you see the two, they're not notches, but I can't really figure out a word. But either way, they're kind of holding the tablet in place. And the tablet is connected with a four pin magnet that goes on here. It's not very strong though. And you have the uh, screen protector on here. We'll leave it on there. All your ports and buttons are located on one side, starting off with the power button, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, micro USB port. This is the DC volt to recharge the tablet, a volume controls, and then behind it is a micro SD card slot along with the reset button. No rear camera, but there is a little speaker in the back and the RCA logo. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but right off the bat, it says that Google Play services keep stopping, and I keep getting some other errors that other things uh, keep stopping, so that's definitely not a good sign already. It was definitely simple to set up, and one thing I did notice is that this can easily topple over if you wanted to, so that's another bad sign. And to make things kind of worse is that this is not an IPS screen, it's a TFT screen, so you will start to notice that it gets darker on one side and it gets too bright on the other. Uh, so it'll be too dark or too bright. But either way, uh, you're going to be looking at this straightforward because it's a two-in-one. But if you want to use this as a tablet, you can, and that's when you'll notice the most problems. But if you're using this as, this as a two-in-one, straightforward, you won't notice anything. Looking straightforward. Okay, so I, I keep trying to open up settings here, and it keeps crashing on me. So that's definitely a problem right there. But I'm, real, I'm just trying to show you. Uh, and see, there you go. It crashed. So I close everything. And I can't do anything at all. Like, I haven't updated anything. I can try that in a moment. But, yeah, this is so far the most disappointing tablet that RCA has probably made or that I've used by, on, by RCA. Okay, so after trying this out for a little while, I keep getting the same error. Like, I try, get, I try going into settings so I can tweak some stuff. Like, I turned, I turned off Wi-Fi. I turned off location and settings just keeps crashing. I tried to update the apps, it just crashed. So honestly, this is the worst tablet I, I've used so far this year. This is actually a 2017 version, I think I wanna say. So, but this is the latest model that I know of. But either way, stay away from this, it's garbage. Uh, have you guys had the same experience as I have? Cause I'm, I'm just trying to get into storage space to show you exactly how much storage is available out of 16 gigs, but I can't even do that. I can't even go to settings, so what's the point of using this? So, honestly, yeah, stay away from this tablet. It's terrible. I wouldn't recommend it at all. Let me know in the comments down below how your experience was. Did you have a better experience than me? Am I looking at something wrong? But either way, I'm going to be returning this at Walmart tomorrow. But anyways, guys, leave a like if you found this video helpful, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff on tablets and cheap tech. As always, thanks for watching.